Hello everyone, it's Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Welcome to my channel. Today I am in a fun challenge. This one is hosted by Crafted by Corey. She does these mini challenges every third Friday of the month. Uh, this month's theme is spring, Mardi Gras, or St. Patty's Day. I chose spring, so today I have three really cute spring DIYs for your tiered tray. So why don't we begin with the DIYs? So for the first DIY, my inspiration come, came from my really good friend, Daniela with DDS Workshop. You will find her on YouTube and Instagram. She is super darling. I love her so much. And she did these cute little stacked books. So I am just going to recreate my own version of them. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave her link in the description box as well. So I'm just making uh, some little books with the tumbling towers from the Dollarama. These ones were a dollar fifty, but the Jenga block type uh, blocks were a lot bigger than the ones from the Dollar Tree. So I liked that. I had a little bit more surface to work with, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna hot glue two um, blocks together, creating three stacked single books. Here I'm going to use red, pink, and white. I'm going to create that ombre look again. I did that in my one of my Valentine's DIYs of those little Jenga blocks, uh, or not Jenga blocks, but like the little uh, square cubes. So I'm just going to start with the white, and then I'm going to keep adding pink and then red just to go darker, so that way I'm not uh, wasting any paint. So here's what they look like all done. Again, in between drying time, I always like to use my hair dryer. I know they have heat guns, uh, but I don't have one yet, but your hair dryer works just as well. So I'm just taking some more of this jute ribbon. This came from the Dollar Tree. It was a three pack. You guys know there was like this one and it came with two different uh, widths and different colors as well. So I'm just using the lighter uh, jute twine here and just hot gluing it to the edge of the books. And now I'm just going the easy way. I'm just taking those clear stickers that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. You guys can use your silhouette, your Cricut, you name it. You can use it or you can even hand write these words. I just chose hip and hop just to make it look like a bunny hop. <laughs> so um, once those are on, I'm just taking these roses from the Dollarama. These were $1.50. Now, I fell in love with these stems or these leaves because they are so gorgeous. They look actually tropical, but they are so light. Um, yeah, I had to use these in this DIY. So I'm just going to cut off a couple of the leaves. And now I'm just going to hot glue them to the center of the jute twine. And then here I just made another simple bow using the jute twine that I just used around the books. I'm gonna hot glue it to the center of the leaves. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more foliage from another bundle of flowers from the Dollar Tree. I'll see here in just a moment. And here's how this cute little stacked book turned out. I think it's so adorable. I thank you so much, Daniela, for my your inspiration. I love these so much. So thank you, Crafted by Corey, for hosting this awesome mini challenge. Please go over to her channel. I'm going to leave her description or her channel in the description box below. I am also going to leave the playlist to all these other amazing crafters that are part of this challenge as well. So please go over and say hello. So for the second DIY, I got these amazing rolling pins from my awesome friend, Carrie, with Carrie's Crafts and Things. She doesn't have a YouTube, but she has an Instagram page, which you guys definitely should go over and check it out. She's got a lot of awesome crafts and DIYs as well. So I'm just going to paint the handles white. 
And again, I'm using this scrapbook pad from Michaels. I absolutely love this so much. I got this on clearance last year or the year before for like $6. And this scrapbook paper in it is so cute. Check out these cute little bunny butts. <laughs> so I'm just going to use this one and I'm going to glue it just around the outside of the middle of the rolling pin. I'm just going to use my Fisker's paper cutter to cut out the exact size I need. So another trick, if you don't have a really thin jute twine, I actually use this burlap ribbon and I shred it. So I actually have all this uh, twine that I can use and it's so thin and it's great for small DIYs. So I'm just going to wrap it around the edge of the rolling pin. I just think, you know, you always see a lot of people doing DIYs with the rolling pins. They always put uh, jute twine at the edge. It just gives it a little bit more um, character to it. So I'm just going to tie it around the end and I'm going to create another tiny little bow with the jute twine and just wrapping it around my fingers and then just tying it in the center. So before I glue the bow to the jute twine, I'm going to take some of this greenery. Again, this is from the Dollar Tree. They always restock this every year. I love it because the leaves look so soft as well. Um, so I'm just going to take a few of the leaves, add them to the center of the jute twine with some hot glue, and then I'm going to hot glue the bow over top of that. And just add a little bit of color. I'm taking some of these mini paper roses from the Dollarama. I'm going to take one of the pink ones and I'm actually going to remove a couple of layers of the stems just to, or the petals, just to make the flower look a lot smaller. And I'm going to hot glue it to the center of the bow. And this is it for the second DIY. What do you guys think? I think it's so darling. I just love these mini rolling pins. I just love mini things, period. Who doesn't? <laughs> So third and final DIY, I'm just taking one of these mason jars from the Dollar Tree. This actually comes in a two pack from the Dollar Tree. I'm not going to use the lid in this one. I'm just going to use the jar and I'm taking this uh, burlap ribbon sticker again from the Dollar Rama uh, and I'm going to adhere it to the outside of the jar. And if you guys have headed over from Crafted by Corey's page, thank you guys so much for coming over and saying hi. I love doing DIYs on a really tiny budget. A lot of items I use are from the Dollarama or the Dollar Tree. And I love mainly like farmhouse DIYs. Just love, love, love doing that stuff. So if you like that, please go ahead, subscribe and uh, give it a big thumbs up if you guys like what you see. All right, so I'm using some more of this other adhesive ribbon from the Dollarama. I love this one because it was more like a coral color. So I'm just going to uh, attach it to the middle of the uh, brown burlap ribbon. I picked up this package of wooden bunnies from the Dollarama. I picked this up a couple years ago. I'm pretty sure they still have something similar like this. Um, and I've used them in a couple of DIYs already. So I'm just going to give the bunny a coat of white acrylic paint.
And once dry, just gonna hot glue it to the center of the ribbons. And using the really fine twine from the burlap ribbon, I'm just gonna make a tiny, cute little bow for the bunny. And just to fill the bottom of the jar, I'm just going to use these white rocks. I picked up a bag from the um, Dollar Tree. There is like a coating on them, like a dust almost to them. So I put them in a Ziploc bag after because um, they usually come in a mesh bag. Um, so they just the dust gets everywhere. So I just find this method cleaner and better to store them. <laughs> and now, guys, remember these flocking balls? I made a wreath, uh, not a wreath, but a garland out of them for fall. I kept the leaves because of this purpose, because these guys look like little mini grass in my opinion so I'm just going to remove all of these from the stems yeah check that out so what I'm doing um, I'm just going to reattach three or four of them because there's only two grass let's say per stem so I just removed everything and I I'm adding them all together um, just to make them look a little bit more full <laughs> And this is how this DIY turned out. I think it is so stinking cute, so darling. I just love these mini mason jars from the Dollar Tree. They can be used for so many things. What do you guys think? So that is it. This has been such a fun a challenge hosted again by Crafted by Corey. I am going to leave her link in the description box below. I'm also going to leave the fabulous playlist with all these amazing talented crafters. Um, I'm going to leave the playlist link in the description box below as well. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. And you can also find me on Instagram with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. I post a lot more DIYs there as well. I also post what I like to find at the Dollar Tree also. So go over and say hi there as well. That is it guys. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you later. Bye.